Hello friend, today we are installing grab bars in a porcelain tile shower. And these tiles here, they go all the way up to the ceiling so we do not have any way of checking for studs uh, above where the tiles are. So we are basically just uh, picking any part uh, and then drilling through there. There are two different ways to do this. If you're drilling through ceramic tile, you're going to want to get yourself an Apache drill bit. This is sold with the wingets. And then another way, this is the way that I use all the time now is using a diamond hole saw bit and this is this particular bits made by Milwaukee it's a three quarter inch bit this is what you're gonna want to use if you are ever drilling through porcelain tile these are the wingets that I use and these are really nice because they have holding capacity up to 300 pounds uh, these are the templates for drilling uh, for the wingets and they also act as a a seal that goes behind the grab bars after you install them so after you mark your layout for your grab bars you're going to um, install the templates for your uh, wingets as I'm doing here and there's two obviously one on each side and then once you get those installed you're gonna go ahead and get your drill bit out and like I said before I am using my diamond hole saw bit made by Milwaukee now the most important thing about using a diamond hole saw bit is always keep it wet. So I always keep a sponge or a wet rag nearby. And then with a diamond hole saw or any kind of hole saw that doesn't have a, uh, a bit in the center, you're going to want to start out going at an angle and then working slowly towards the flat as you saw me do there. And see I'm stopping each uh, every few seconds and I'm just getting everything wet because you do not want these diamond hole saws to overheat because it will just wear the diamonds off of it and it will be no good and here in this hole that I'm drilling right now I am actually I actually hit a stud or the edge of a stud which is actually perfectly fine because you gotta get through that tile anyways to mount it to the stud so basically you just drill all the way to the stud and then you're just gonna put a regular lag through the stud there so one other way I guess you could do it is if you didn't want to hit that stud you could find the stud over to the left um, on the drywall and actually measure over to where your stud might be. So here's a little close up look of how I started that drill bit going at an angle and then you slowly work into drilling it flat. And again like I said before this is a diamond hole saw bit made by Milwaukee. I always use this because if you have or come across porcelain tile you're only going to be able to drill through it with a diamond hole saw bit. You're not going to be able to drill through it with the Apache drill bit that comes with the wingets you're going to need to get yourself a diamond hole saw bit. So this is what I use all the time. It doesn't hurt using it on ceramic tile. Uh, it actually just makes it easier. So this is my go-to bit here. I always keep two or three of them on the truck whenever I am installing grab bars. It makes the whole job so much easier just to drill through there. So on the, on the right here, like I said, in this particular uh, drill. I am drilling. There's no stud there, but there is a stud on the left. So on the left, I will be just screwing in with lag bolts. And then here on the right, I will be putting in my wingets. Here are the wingets I was talking about. They basically just snap together. And then if you've never used wingets before, they are quite the thing. Uh, they actually come down, and then when you screw them in, those three wings kind of hold on the back of whatever substrate you have for them to hold on to. So they create a really strong holding power, especially through tile. But they're meant for, you know, mounting through tile, through drywall, through concrete block, whatever isn't, you know, so thick that it won't go through. Um, but that's pretty much what it's about. And then you're going to want to get it in there and then just tap those screws in there. That helps it get in place. And then I usually tighten it down just to suck that wing it in. And then here, next step is obviously to install your screws. Now I'm leaving the templates on there because they work as a seal. They have a little sticky tape on either side of them. So the winget screws on the right and then lag screws on the left that go right into the stud. So that is what I'm doing on this example here. Stud on the left and wingets on the right. So really a lot of people they they ask me they say well what if you drill and you hit a stud? You know at the end of the day it doesn't really matter you just lug through that. Um, here is another example. On this example here, I did not hit any studs, so both sides are using wingets. 
and it's it's a much longer bar it's a 36 inch bar this again here is ceramic tile but I'm using my porcelain like I'm drilling as if it was porcelain tile because it doesn't hurt at all using the diamond bit hole saw there's the Milwaukee blade the, the thing is on these you need to be very careful because if you start drilling at a too fast of a speed at an angle that bit will just take off and run across all the tiles and it could even scratch the tiles so you could get yourself into a lot of trouble if you don't use this correctly now on this particular one I am just drilling through the tile and then what's behind the tile is obviously drywall so I'm drilling through the tile on each of these and then I'm going to be coming back with the Apache drill bit just to finish up through the drywall because the Apache drill bit works great through drywall and ceramic tile um, but not porcelain tile so here I just drilled through that hooking the Apache drill bit up and then go right through the drywall and as you see there's no stud behind there and then this is a combination on the left starting that guy out so if you guys like this video feel free to like this video and subscribe to this channel also leave me a comment in the comment section below with how you guys install grab bars or if you've learned anything from this video I would definitely appreciate that I have many other how-to videos on this channel of honestly handyman services I do everything from minor electrical minor plumbing uh, to some carpentry, drywall repair, obviously uh, grab bar installation. So there I am installing the wingets, just tapping them in with the screws. This is a little bit closer look than last time, so this will be a good look for you. And you can see the template is still on there behind the wingets. That again acts as a seal. And the next step is to go ahead and install your grab bar. It's actually a fairly simple process. Once you get it down, the wingets make it a whole lot easier.